First thing is to put the merchandise out. So I typically I put out kind of one of each. I've sold out of a few of the titles on this tour. I mean, it's, it's so funny that, you know, uh, music, as much as it's, you know, self-expression and skill and performance, at the end of the day, it's a retail business. You know? And if they're really good, then they'll even walk out with a, uh, a vinyl album. So we did, this was a, limited edition we did for Record Store Day. Uh, in fact, the album came out on vinyl before it came out on CD. Because we had to drop two tracks. You just can't put 14 tracks on a, on a like lengthy tracks on, on, a, on vinyl because you lose volume. We mixed it to tape. I mean, it's, it's expensive, but you know, like when, we, when I was mixing this album on, under an indigo sky, I'd recorded it in my home studio, took it to Capitol, Al Schmidt, who's one of the great engineers, mixed it to tape, 30 IPS, half inch tape. Um, and then we recorded that, we had it on tape, then we recorded that output back into Pro Tools, as well as the, from the Neve console, just a, a, an untaped version of it, just a pure digital. And you listen to the pure digital and it's like, yeah, this is like really cool and really, you know, it's really very present. And then you listen to the, the tape version of it, and, and it's unbelievable how much more girth and dimension and feeling there is in the whole thing. And then coming from the tape, what we did was when we mastered it, we actually transferred it at 192, 192K. And then they mastered the, direct metal mastered the vinyl from the 192 source, and the vinyl just sounds amazing. My setup is pretty basic. It's a mic to talk into, a preamp to plug into, and a stool to sit on. So my preamp is, is the headway, EDB1. Actually, there's an EDB2, but um, I'm waiting for that one to arrive. NAM show swag. And uh, it mounts on a mic stand. So it's nice and stable. Megami cable. They make me up special uh, stereo cables so I can run two channels. It's kind of a personal choice. I, f I position the mic stand so that I try not to block the sight lines because people like to watch the hands. So my signature model, Martin. It's an OM18. No, 28. OM28. Madagascar rosewood. Adirondack spruce top. I like this particular style of guitar because it's, it's very comfortable. It's not a big body, it's not like a dreadnought. And it's got more girth to it than a, like a parlor sized guitar. But it gives me, uh, it, uh, and the long scale also gives me the capability of tuning down without the strings getting too flappy. Um, it's a 25.4 inch scale, as opposed to a triple O, which would be a 20, uh, 24.9. So it's a half an inch longer scale length and I tune to Daggat a lot so I need that that extra just that extra length I, I mean I have my own signature string with GHS but this actually right now is strung with um, some prototypes of uh, Martin have a, a string called a retro which is Monel it's a different kind of alloy um, it's a copper nickel iron alloy which is actually really kind of old school so I've been playing around with that, see how I like it. And I do, I like it a lot. Um, string gauges here, I think I've got 13, 16 and a half, 24, 41, no, 31, 41, 56. That's probably gonna change a little bit, but Monel is actually quite dense. I'm gonna turn it up to my normal. No monitors to begin with either. If you have the fader kind of at zero and use the trim, you know, like trim it down, because it always seems to sound better when the fader's all the way up rather than kind of 
bringing the trim up and keeping the fader down. <laughs> See now that's what I've got going on is I've got the one channel is a pickup, just the pickup, and the other channel is just mic, and then blend in the two. And the, I actually have the mic pointing that way. Typically they'll mount microphones so they're pointing into the sound hole. But if you think about it, the sound hole is a bass port. So there's a lot of low end frequencies coming out that way. And it makes more sense. I actually discovered by accident that it sounded better if the mic was actually pointing this way. So under saddle pickup, it's a detail wavelength. Um, basically, uh, same, same uh, material as the, the bag's element, but the preamp is a, is a Seymour Duncan um, designed preamp uh, that runs on two AA batteries and, and gets 18 volts. I don't know how they get 18 volts out of three volts, but they do. And I'm in Dagad tuning right now, which is typically where I start the show, so I try and set things for the beginning of the show. And I can play Zeppelin tunes as I want. A little bit of reverb, I think. Like medium hole, 1.8 seconds. reverb I think. I do like these strings. They get more fundamental out of the Monel.
But that's my sound check, as quick as I can, you know. A lot of it is, you know, all the time invested in coming up with the right gear and the right, right attitude towards it. But a decent preamp, decent cable, decent guitar, and decent pickup, and it all should just work.